Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Welcome to a festive vlog. I was just thinking about what direction I wanted this vlog to go in and I realized I haven't done any Christmassy videos yet. So I feel like I'm gonna make this vlog a little bit festive. Things are getting a little bit festive in our house. We've had some decorations put up. I've got a funny story to tell you about the decorations, but we'll get into that. I'm actually doing something right now that I thought would be quite nice to just time lapse and show you what I'm doing. So basically we had our new mattress delivered today, which is so exciting because we've been waiting for it for absolutely weeks. We have an emperor sized bed. So we had to get a bespoke mattress made for this size bed. Also, you guys have not seen the headboard yet. I'll do a proper reveal of it when all the bedding's on it and stuff. I bought all new bedding from the White Company. I've got like a new duvet, new pillows, new sheets. My plan after we've done the bed is to do some self-care, have a nice bath, get a bit of an early night. We were actually going to go for a bit of a date night tonight and go to the cinema and get some food. But then I just said to Tommy, do you know what? Like, I'm actually really, really tired and I don't want to get to the cinema because there's a horror film on that we, um, we've wanted to see for a while. And I said, I, don't, I actually want to enjoy it. I don't want to get to the cinema and like literally be falling asleep. <laughs> thinks the mattress is rock hard and to be fair I kind of do too well when, when they did install it earlier and you were like why have you gone quiet and it's not I don't think it's I think it's are you thinking yeah they said it's not you can't return it oh. it's non-refundable it's non-refundable no because it's bespoke made for the it's bed it's lovely then isn't it yeah <laughs> It needs to be. It needs to be because it doesn't work anyway. So as you can see, there is still no improvement on making the bathroom look more aesthetic. We've still got our lovely blue plasterboard going on. I don't really know what, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't know when it's going to look any better than this. Like it's the one part of the house that's kind of like, that's not the nursery, that's still a complete building site. Obviously the nursery is a complete write-off, like we won't even talk about that. Guys, I've come to a really a big adult decision at the minute with my baths. I've been having a bath like every single night because I'm just, I'm obsessed with baths. I love them so much. It's like my favorite part of my day. I had to make the adult decision to stop putting so many lotions and potions and oils and bath, bubble baths into the bath because I'm without giving too much information without being TMI it's been it's been no good for me in that region you ladies know what I'm talking about like I am asking for it when I'm pouring a little bit of this I'm pouring a little bit of that I'll have a few of that boil I'll have a little bit of that bubble bath like I'm asking for problems in in the regions that we all know and yeah it's been really bad recently so I had to be a little bit more adult and I picked up just some Sanex to put in the bath I know that this, if you're going to use anything, you're not really meant, like, you're not really meant to use anything in that region. But obviously, like, I don't want a bath with no bubbles because that's gross. Also, I'm talking quietly and not, like, as openly as I would about this because Tommy's right in there. If he hears me talking about this, he's going to be like, you're really weird. Like, what is wrong with you? But I'll let you know how that goes. And if it's any better than me, you all know what I'm talking about. Like, I just ask for that problems down there. Um, I mean, in my one of my recent videos, I was talking about UTIs, which, by the way, I didn't have... My urine sample came back as being completely fine, so it must just be where the baby's sitting that's causing me to like feel like I need a wee all the time. Play with 
So here is my bath set up. I'll just pause the bake off a second. Um, I've been trying to watch the bake off final for so many days now, but I keep having to pause it and I've still not got to the end of it yet. I've absolutely adored bake off this year. Like I've loved it so much, but that Sanex has bubbled up so nicely. So if it doesn't cause me any lady issues, then I will definitely have that as my go-to bubble bath because yeah, that's bubbled up so, so nicely. It just looks like a normal bubble bath. I've got my lovely B&M bath pillow for a nice relaxing set up. So yeah, I'm gonna jump in the bath now, finish Bake Off, see who wins. I think, I'm calling it now, I think Shabira's gonna win. Good morning guys, happy Monday. I'm actually joining you on our baby's 30 week birthday. <laughs> Every time I go up a week in the morning, it sounds so cringy, but Tommy and I, we sing happy birthday. Um, we've literally done it since the start, but every, like, every, every week we go up, we always sing happy birthday. And I'm actually 30, 30 weeks today which is literally crazy like I cannot get over how I don't know I just can't get over my pregnancy like I just feel like the luckiest person in the world like to feel to feel the way I do like I just feel amazing I feel so so good like I feel honestly like me being pregnant right now in this moment to like if I think about me before I was pregnant I'd say I actually feel fit like not fitter <laughs> no, definitely not fitter but I feel like healthy and I feel happy I feel mentally in an incredible place I feel like just so amazing and I just feel so lucky to be in that position like through pregnancy I just couldn't have asked for a better journey so yeah just some positive energy this Monday morning so every single Sunday night Erin and Ellen send in my week plan for like the coming week so monday you'll be doing this tuesday you'll be doing this wednesday you need to get this done so i can kind of see everything that i need to get done but last night i kind of said like okay well this week i actually want to do this and monday i want to do this tuesday i want to do this i can do that whenever i want anyway because obviously it's my week but i feel like now i definitely want to start like not slowing things down my, my schedule is kind of slowing down anyway but i just decided that even though today is a monday i'm kind of i'm gonna do like kind of what I want today and I've kind of got the day off um so it's 10 o'clock right now I've had a quite a slow morning I've just got up washed my hair because I went swimming last night I've been absolutely loving swimming I say I've been absolutely loving swimming I've literally been twice I've been twice but in Dubai basically I was doing quite a few lengths you may have seen on my story I posted a picture of me wearing these swimming goggles I just said when I come home I'm gonna start going swimming but the only annoying thing is is it really really dries my skin out like my eczema this morning was on fire from that chlorine it was on fire but anyway Tommy and I are going to go for some late breakfast in a bit but I'm actually just gonna do a very quick face of makeup I am literally so excited that for this part of the video I'm actually working working with Armani Beauty. <laughs> Pinch me a second because I have worn Armani Beauty. I've worn this foundation for absolutely years now. I've worn it for years. There really is no foundation quite like this one. Whenever I've tried something new or I've experimented, it never hits the same. My skin never looks the same. Quite a nostalgic moment for me as well because I remember the days when I used to save up my money to be able to buy this foundation because like I say, there was nothing else quite like it. And when you start using it, there really is no going back. Just to start my makeup, I'm gonna be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. Once I put my moisturizer on, I've been going in with this recently. I feel like it kind of creates like a bit of a tacky base for my foundation to stick to. When I talk like a makeup artist, I can't deal with myself. There we have the primer applied, as you can see. Adds a really, really nice, healthy glow to the skin. As for shades for the Luminous Silk Foundation, I've been asked about this so many times because I've said that I've worn this foundation for years, but I sometimes forget to specify what shade. Now, the shade that I normally wear in this foundation is shade 6.5, but I'm not gonna lie, that was when I had a little bit more of a tan. That was when I was not looking like this. I'm very, even though I've just got back from nearly a two-week holiday in Dubai, my skin is still looking like one of those cream jumpers in the background. In my collection, I also do have shade 4.25. So I think I might actually try this today. So 6.5 is normally my go-to for my more tan skin. But let me see, mm, I think that might be a little bit too light. I've just mixed mainly 6.5 with just a tiny pump of 4.25. And I'm just going to 
apply the foundation with a brush. The thing I absolutely love most about this foundation, apologies if you can hear all the building work in the background, what's well, been different for the last literally seven months. Um, but yeah, the thing I love most is that my skin always still looks like skin. Like you can still completely see my skin through the foundation, even though it has a really nice coverage to it. I'm gonna go in over the top with a sponge just to blend it in. Oh my God, I just love this foundation so much. Like, I love the way it makes my skin look. Also, I've been getting so many questions recently about my lips and if I've had lip filler again, which has really been making me laugh. Guys, do you really think whilst being pregnant that I would get lip filler? Like what kind of mother do you think I am? Next up for concealer I'm going to be going in with the Luminous Silk Concealer in shade 4. Again another product that I've used for years and I absolutely love. I love the applicator of this concealer. It's in like a really nice shape, kind of like a, a lip gloss applicator. Pop that in all of the usual areas. I literally apply about a quarter of the amount of concealer that I, know, that I used to. I used to use so much. There we have my Monday morning makeup for today. It would be rude not to. It would be rude not to finish off with one of my favorite scents. This scent, you guys will never understand. It holds such a special place in my heart. When I used to work on the beauty counter at Boots, this was my go-to perfume. Even like if I shut my eyes right now, oh my God, if I shut my eyes right now, I am in my Boots uniform, stood at the like, perfume counter like at Christmas time, trying to help people pick out perfumes for their boyfriend, girlfriends, like trying to advise them on scents when I had literally no <laughs> clue what I was doing. Such a nostalgic scent for me. I've not even said what it is. It's C, Eau de Parfum by Giorgio Armani. It is just unbelievable. My mum loves this scent too. In fact, I probably will have to get a bottle of this for Christmas. And I think that's me actually ready and all done for the day. I've already had about 20 messages from Tommy saying, hurry up, I'm hungry, I want to go for breakfast. So I don't think I'm even going to have time to dry my hair or style it or anything. So I'll probably just do that when I get back. We'll go for some breakfast. I'll link down below all the products that I use from Armani Beauty. Thank you so much Armani Beauty for sponsoring this video. A massive pinch me moment and an absolute honour to be working with you guys. Let's get cracking with the rest of our day. Let's hope we make it a little bit Christmassy, a little bit festive because the title of this video is is a festive video and nothing festive has happened so far. You've tried to start an argument with me this morning. You've tried to start an argument with me this no, morning. No, yes. you tried to start an argument. My no. makeup looks you really nice. Just what? saying, my makeup looks really nice. I know you're being sarcastic. Right? <laughs> no, I'm being serious. You tried to start an argument with me this morning. I mean, if you let me get out of the drive. We can talk about it. Mm, yeah, if we don't crash. So she said, she, she said it was going to take her 20 minutes to film her makeup. So in that 20 minutes, I, um, I, I got dressed myself, had a shower, everything like that. Then I got in the car, then I drove all the way to the petrol station, the stopped, to, the stopped upon waters, I drove all the way back, made a couple calls in the car, sorted a few things out, and it still hasn't been 20 minutes, apparently. And, I, and she was like, what's the big deal? Just go in, sit down and wait. I'm like, I'm hungry. I'm not had any I'm breakfast. hungry too. Yeah, I'm growing a child. I, I think just, you seem to forget this. Yeah, but everyone who trains out there will understand oh, me, right? Oh, I've just been to the, I've just been to the gym. He trains, guys. You, you just, interrupted oh, me. Oh, my fox. God, there's a fox. Oh. Hello, Hello. Baba. Oh, my God. Watch it. Run at the car. Oh, oh no, it's gone. It's I've gone. never seen a fox in the daylight like Neither that. Neither have I. Normally, they, like, jet off really quickly. No, no, but it's at night. Hey, anybody that trains will understand after a session they need to eat. And this woman here, oh, what's the problem? Guys, in case you didn't know, Tommy trains. Did, did, did you guys know that? He trains his muscles. Actually, it was cardio this oh, morning. Right, okay. Get it right. Anyway, I've got the rest of the day to do whatever I want. I can't <laughs> quite believe my luck. Must be nice, have... I want to go to maybe home sensing and get some cute bits for the house and some new candles, because I don't think we've got enough candles. You can go to home sense. Yeah, uh, you weren't invited. Oh. Well, I did want you to come, but I didn't think you would. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no, it's okay, it's rubbish. It's, it's, it's rubbish. Bag. McDonald's bag. We thought it was a roadkill. Whenever we see roadkill, we say a little prayer, don't we? This is 100% my favourite 
Christmas song and it literally makes me want to cry when I hear it. Why would you listen to something like that? Must be Forrest Gump. <laughs> Stop, this song is on. Christmas night, another fight. Yeah, me and Tommy. Tears we cried a flood. <laughs> Joking. When you're still waiting for the snow to fall, it doesn't really feel like Christmas at all. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Whoa. Yeah. Did you get an scrambled egg there? Probably not. I got a smoothie. And then I got a full English and a bagel. Is that what? Yeah. You are an eco one, sir. Your eyes look very blue. Let me see. No, I'm sorry, that's not that. <laughs> you just destroyed your breakfast. What? Well, ketchup. I'm gonna dig in. <laughs> dig in then, little monster. Are still waiting for the snow to fall. Well, it doesn't right really you. feel like Christmas at all. I'm gonna get copyrighted because I sound just like Coldplay. It doesn't even feel like Christmas at all. You're too quiet. Do it again. Nope. In we go. Grab a base game. Tommy wants to get a board game. Also, I'd like to um, I'd like to get some games because I've actually forgot to tell you guys. I'm hosting Christmas this year for my family. Forgot to completely forgot to mention that. I am hosting Christmas this year for my family. Look at the elephant. Jumanji. Yeah, but do you think it'll actually be any good? Oh gosh, Tommy, look. Basically, we're having Christmas at our house this year, and I want to do like quizzes, I want to do um, like games like Trivial Pursuit, funny games like that. Oh, babe, look at these. Oh gosh, I could get some good Christmas presents here for people. I've already got this. My mum already got this for me last year. I've not played it yet though. They've got some lovely Christmassy throws. But the problem is with Christmas throws is that you can only use them at Christmas and then like what do you do with them for the rest of the year? Like just put them in a cupboard but then they're quite big aren't they? They're quite a big thing to like store. <laughs> I can't take you anywhere. Our baskets, babe stop! Our baskets, <laughs> our baskets completely empty. <laughs> Tommy stop it, you're being a child. I don't like it. It's not nice. It's like toothpaste. <laughs> Any good? Try <laughs> that one, babe. This looks so cute and festive. Munya. Hey, Jesh. Thought I'd roll them out, Matt. Ooh, that smells nice. Try that. <laughs> Ooh. I know, I just saw that raw <gasps> cinnamon. Okay. It's not a perfume, babe. What is it? It's a rum spray. I just sprayed it off my hands. <laughs> oh, God. It smells like a cookie. Oh, right. Not like that. Hello. You all right? <laughs> Your smell is completely off of me. That's the it's distasteful. <laughs> distasteful. <laughs> oh my god, okay, I know you're gonna like that. I know you're gonna like that. Give me a headache. He does like it, you're just being silly. That's quite cute. We're not doing very well, guys. The basket is literally completely empty. <laughs> we might as well put it back. What the hell? I literally thought we were going to get so much. It's just a little bit overwhelming in here. I don't really know. I don't really know what. I do like these. I think they're a little bit freaky, but I also do quite like those Santas because my mum used to have one. Well, my mum and dad used to have one when they were together, not divorced. And every year we'd get it out and it used to play songs. Um, so I would like to get one of them for like a Christmas tradition, like for a baby girl, like we get out every year. Wow. Ooh. Stunning. Oh, 
Ooh, they look nice. Do you think I'd be allowed them? Mm, I think they are. Surely the alcohol content can't be enough for me to not have them. Very, 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 very upset. I think you've had your fair share of home sense in the past. But... We didn't get anything, guys. Not one thing. I'll be honest, the stock wasn't that great. Today. Not so much as a Christmas candle. Kind of, the, the shop was busting at the seams with things. I don't think it's due to the stock. I think I was just a little bit overwhelmed. Like, I didn't actually know, like... <laughs> See, I get like that when I go to a good protein shop. <laughs> but I just All don't right. know what to get because it's so much there. <clears throat> yeah, and then you end up leaving with nothing because you just you want everything. But as well with, like, Christmas decorations, like... I don't really like to spend too much money on them because they're not a permanent fixture in the house. Do you know what I mean? Like they only come out, it's just, yeah. I don't know. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. My name is Eggie and I'm so cute. I make my mom wanna cry. I'm, I'm honestly, I am the luckiest cat mum on the planet. Look at that sleeping, tired snow angel. It's a snow angel. It's a snow leopard. Something very, very exciting happened when we went out for breakfast and to Home Sense, which was a very unsuccessful trip. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna dwell on it too much though. When we came back from our little short trip out, our dining room table our dining table chairs had arrived. Now our dining table has been in the house now for a couple of days. I just was like avoiding showing you guys um, because I wanted to wait till the chairs have come. But now the chairs have come, the table's here. It was kind of like one of the last things that needed to get put into the house to like sort of nearly finish it off. Like it still has a lot of finishing touches to be done, but it kind of is just finishing touches now. Like it's not like huge bits of furniture that are missing. So I'll show you right now. So exciting. Okay, so here we have our new dining room table on our new dining room chairs. Please do excuse the fact that the curtains do still have bin bags on because I still don't trust the cats to not pee on them, even though they are so much better now. Um, but yeah, here we have our dining room setup. The only thing that needs to be changed in this area now is that I'm actually having this light fitting changed. Even though I actually love this light fitting, I found this other one which was, oh my God, it's just literally a dream. It's like a balloon light with like, oh, I don't know, I'll have, to, I'll have to show you when it arrives. On this piece of wall here, I want to have a huge piece of artwork on there and I want it to be a little bit colorful. I want to add a little bit of color to this space because as I'm aware, it is obviously very, very neutral, very, very cream, but that is just how I like to have the house. I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about where everything is from, but we actually had the dining room table made from scratch. We had it designed and made from scratch. Um, so it's one of one. <laughs> you won't be able to find it online anywhere, unfortunately, because trust me, we looked high and low for a table just like this and this size. Um, but there just wasn't anything available um, in the sort of price range that we wanted to spend. So we, we realized it was actually gonna be more cost effective to make one. Um, so yeah, this was made from scratch. It's kind of like a, I don't know how, um, it's like a concrete, like a ceramic, ceramic concrete, but I, oh, I just love it so much. And that's our dining table setup. I need to go and change my battery pack, but I just wanted to show you that quickly. I am so, so happy with it. Before I go and change my battery pack, I just need to tell you about this new receptionist that I hired to work in my office on the desk and like to answer the phone and, you know, reply to emails and stuff. But like, all he does is sleep. And, you know, on his CV, he wrote that he was gonna be a really good receptionist. And like, he just isn't. And I feel like he conned me. Did you con me into thinking that you were gonna be good and all you do is sleep all day and party all night? This is how you like to live your life. Yeah, you heard it here first. This receptionist is getting fired because he's not able to do his job properly, okay? You can't come into work, bread, and just sleep, okay? Okay, no joke, I'm having to sit on the other side of my desk on one of the stools because bread is sat on my chair and I don't have the heart to tell him to move. So two things I wanna quickly update you on. I'm not gonna ramble on for ages because I'm aware that I really like to do that at the minute in my videos. I feel like I used to be really conscious about like cropping a lot out of my videos and like making them really like short and snappy. So you guys didn't get bored just like listening to me waffle, but also if you can hear the builders, apologies. Um, 
But now I just kind of keep thinking, also, I've kind of like gone over like the builders here you film because they've definitely heard me film like so much now that I'm just like, do you know what? I've been filming vlogs that are like nearly 40 minutes long recently and I don't know, I kind of not, I don't hate it. Like I kind of love uploading longer videos and I feel like you guys like ask for them a lot um so yeah i crop a lot less i crop a lot yeah i crop a lot less out of my videos now and i wanted to also tell you about what i mentioned at the start of this video the christmas decoration saga the christmas decoration <laughs> fail so like we did last year we had our christmas decorations installed this year um we don't get people to install our decorations because we don't want to do it ourselves we actually would love to do it ourselves but to be completely honest i'm really not that creative like i i genuinely wouldn't know how to make a christmas tree look nice when i watch videos on instagram of like people setting up their trees and they look so beautiful and i think i just couldn't do that like i literally wouldn't have a clue where to start i wouldn't know what tree to buy when we had our christmas decorations installed we didn't um we didn't love them. We didn't love them. We actually had a meeting beforehand with the people setting, doing our decorations to discuss like what we wanted and like what kind of like route we wanted to go down with the house for Christmas this year because my second point I wanted to talk to you guys about is that I'm actually hosting Christmas this year in this house for my family, which I'm literally so excited about. Um, so I wanted this year to like be super special at the house and like all the decorations to be unbelievable. We had some outside lights put up, which we're really happy with. And we also had like a garland um, put all around the banister of the stairs in the hallway that was put up and we decided to leave that. The tree was just instantly, the second I saw the tree, I was like, it doesn't feel like it's us. It just felt like it was far too, um, like sort of a bit just too OTT and too fancy, too glittery, too sparkly, too like too much going on. So I think what we've decided to do is that I think Tommy and I are going to try and do our tree this year. <laughs> um, Tommy really wants to get a real one. Um, but I know if we're getting a real one, we would need to wait a couple of weeks because I think by Christmas time, if we get a real one, it will die. Um, I know next year we're definitely going to want to do our own tree because obviously baby girl will be here. So like obviously we want to start doing like Christmas traditions and like having like Christmas decorations that we bring out every year. So then she can like get excited for Christmas because next Christmas she will be, by next Christmas, she will be like 10 months old or 10 yeah, she'll be like nearly one years old. I'm about to be a mother, and if there's one thing I'm gonna need to know, it's gonna be like how to create a cute, cute, Christmas, a cute Christmas tree. Christmas tree, Christmas tree. Um, I'm gonna need to learn how to do it, so maybe now's a good time to start. Hello. Hello. What would you like from <laughs> Costa? We're at Costa, and this has been a very, like where I last vlogged, just don't mind this little interlude because it's gonna be worth it trust me um i will be back home soon to show you the decorations and stuff in the house um but i think i'm gonna get something decorations been bought no i mean like i was telling them about the saga with the decorations we're gonna get our own tree and it's gonna be down to me i'm gonna rip it from a forest <laughs> i'm gonna drag it in the back You're of this car you're not allowed to do that that's deforestation i want to get a christmasy drink and i wish you guys could tell me which is a good one to get, but you can't, so. That's not bad, is it? Look at it, any medium drink and, f and a bap. How much? Two quid. Wow, lovely. Do they do Toblerone hot chocolate? <gasps> oh my God, yeah, 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 yeah. I want that. I want um, a Toblerone hot chocolate, please. What was that doing? Toblerone hot chocolate large. Can I get a large Toblerone hot chocolate? <laughs> you look like a bug. What? You look like a bug. Felix. Right, I'm going, mother. Oh, what time is your point, Samantha? In 15 minutes, sir. Oh, exciting. Right, we've got to go. I hope she hasn't got Tommy's nose. She will. Thank you. Right, I'm going. Bye, right, I love you. I love you more. Bye, 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 bye. How cute. Cheers. Hi, Bella. Basically, just to quickly explain what's going on, we are off to our baby girl's 4D scan. Which means we're about to basically, well, we're meeting her. She's not uh, technically the meeting. Just, just, just relax. Yeah, Tommy, you're not on your phone or doing yeah, anything wrong. You know, do you, hello, officer. 
Great day. The shade. What a lovely day. But Tommy, I'm being serious. You're gonna have to step on it because we've got ten minutes to get to our appointment. And, uh, and first of all, we've got thirteen. So right. Different no, than but 10. I'm being serious. I don't want to be late, babe. I really don't. Anybody that Do you know knows, why I will be late? Anybody that Do you know knows why Molly we'll... on a level, she knows that she is a very big panicker, and she has to have. Uh, she has to be an hour early for everything. Yes. I don't like being late. It's like my well, one of my things. Have you ever Keep saying we're gonna look here. I'll try. Oh, what? what are you doing? Ah, you're stressing me out. <laughs> so let me eat my breakfast. You can't eat your breakfast trap because every time you pull up on a red light and you're trying to unbox the wrap, it always turns green. But every time you want it to stay ah! on the so Give me that phone because I'm gonna chuck it out the window. <laughs> it's there. We are going to see our baby for the first time. Cheers to that. Woohoo, are you excited? No, I'm only driving at the speed of light. <laughs> I think that she's going to look exactly like Tommy. Oh, interesting taste. Interesting. Is it interesting or not? I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure. I like it because I'm not fussy when it comes to drinks, but... What? You're not fussy when it comes to drinks? Yeah, I don't know why I said that. I am very fussy. No, it's nice, actually. I would, I would recommend that. I wouldn't know if I, would, I don't know if I recommend it, but I would get it again. Does that make sense? Oh. Our appointment's in ten minutes, so we probably won't get there in time. Wish us luck, and I'll see you there. So you had your twenty weeks done. It's all been fine, yeah. Yes, all good. I'm quite part. I'm thirty weeks now. Now, okay. <laughs> So the face is she's looking this way. You are seeing just this part of it. Right. You can try something anything. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to ski chop or not? And say hey. And should we try again? I look nice. Can you believe I've actually just been crying? <laughs> Tommy's just run into the hairdressers just to see when they can fit him in, but yeah. I'll update you when I get home, but that was just a big fat disaster. And I don't know, I think I just, cause I was literally looking forward to it all week. And I thought like, even if they don't get a picture of her, like they might be able to get just something, you know, like just anything. <laughs> but they literally, she couldn't get anything of her. Like she just was completely not cooperating naughty little girl um but yeah she said like do we want to come back and i just said there's no point coming back because we're literally going to meet her soon and that what's the point all going all the way back there like for her to probably be in the wrong position again anyway i'm drinking my cold hot chocolate it's not really cheering me up much but we're gonna go to the cinema in a bit okie dokie we are back now from the baby scan i have to shut these doors every time i come in here because the cats aren't really meant to uh, be coming in this living room still even though like I say they are much better behaved now um I just wanted to quickly say because I've just realized like how probably <clears throat> silly it seems to literally be getting upset over the fact that we couldn't see the baby's face today like when I actually think sit here and think about it like that's just like ridiculous and the most important thing completely and utterly the most important thing is that she is literally perfect she is healthy she is well she is growing perfectly like the, the lady that was scanning her said that she was literally on average for everything like her weight her size her length everything she's absolutely perfect like there's nothing wrong with her I just think because I had 
I kept putting off the 4D scan because they say the longer you wait, the clearer the image will be of the baby's face. So I kept putting it off and putting it off and we booked it ages ago and I was so excited <laughs> to see her face. Like I have literally been so excited for this day. And I think I hadn't even thought for one second that we wouldn't be able to see anything. I thought we might not be able to see a lot, as it, but we definitely will be able to see something. Like we might be, able to, might be able to see like an eye or like a cheek or anything. But we, I just think I got a bit emotional because we literally couldn't see anything and I was so excited and it just didn't really go the way I thought it would but that's okay I've had a minute to like get over my emotional self now and um it's really really not a big deal like we can probably just go back I mean I don't think we will go back but we'll meet her soon anyway in person and we'll see her face and we can actually like touch her face and that's better than a 4D scan anyway I know we're so lucky to have a healthy baby in my stomach that is growing and like she's doing amazing and I just need to definitely focus on that and not the fact that our 4D scan didn't go to plan like forget about that really just a little bit emotional today which is weird because I've not really been emotional Tommy and I are just about to head out to the cinema we're gonna go and see this film called The Menu which I think is meant to be a bit of a horror, like a horror thriller, murder mystery kind of film. So that'll be good. Before we do that, I'm going to go out now and show you the Christmas decorations because I've been literally talking about these flipping Christmas decorations this whole entire vlog. There's nothing to show you. There's, there's literally just a stair garland. But I'm going to quickly talk you through our plans for the Christmas decorations. Also, sorry, don't excuse my makeup. I've got no lip product on it. Also, I've still not taken my makeup off from where I literally cried it off from being an idiot you will be able to hear the builders radio i think tommy's also in the shower so sorry for the background noise but here we have our stair garland which i actually really like um we decided to keep this up the tree was in that corner there that's why if you're wondering where our sideboard has gone our sideboard has been moved to here because it's normally there but we had our tree put there so yeah when we do do our own tree that is i think the plan is to put it in that corner just so that when you walk in it's like the first thing you see um but yeah our garland on the stairs looks like this and it's very christmasy very cute i love the lights so right now the hallway is looking very bare because obviously the christmas tree was there but um we did have it taken down but i think i think we're going to be able to do a good christmas tree we have a nice blank canvas of an area to get a good sized tree, pop it here, and then we'll just <laughs> decorate it ourselves. The last owner of this house, interestingly, um, put their Christmas tree here in the corner, which I actually think could also look really nice. There is a good enough space to put it there, but it's not really like a corner, so the tree would stick out quite a bit in the room. But yeah, I don't think we need to go crazy on decorations. We just need to sort out the tree saga, Breddy. Oh, I love you, monkey. I love you. Eggy and bread. Mummy's Christmas elves. The best Christmas elves in the world. I just wanna quickly say, I know we're super, super lucky to be able to have Christmas decorations put up anyway and to be able to have Christmas decorations. And I don't want it to seem like we were being extra fussy with our decorations. We're like, I wanted to have them taken down and stuff. But we're really not like that. But it's just because I'm having my family here for Christmas and I've kind of got it in my head that I want everything to be really special and perfect. And obviously like this is, going to be my last Christmas Christmas before I become a mum and Tommy becomes a dad I just I don't know I kind of had it in my head how I wanted the house to look um but at least we're halfway there with the garland also guys comment down below if you want to see a full office tour obviously I'm giving you quite a large sneak peek right now basically showing you the whole room but I think I want to do maybe like a I obviously not I've obviously not done a house tour and I won't be doing a house tour but I've shown so much of the house now and I've been a lot more active on my home account as well on Instagram other than that guys I'm aware again that this vlog has probably got <laughs> very long like they all are at the minute comment down below if you have been enjoying the longer videos it's really good for me to know when you are watching this video my baby shower will have been yesterday so hopefully I will have a vlog coming very soon from my baby shower which I'm so excited about I can't believe it's my baby shower literally in a few days like I don't know, I'm really really excited and I'm just so excited to like have a baby shower I can't believe that like I'm actually having a baby shower like I still can't believe that I'm pregnant like when is this when is this all gonna feel real when is this all gonna sink in like that's another thing I was kind of hoping that like seeing the baby's face today was gonna make it all sink in and make me realize like we're having a baby um because like I would have seen her face but like, I literally can't get over how little we saw like we didn't even see a hand we didn't even see a foot we didn't even see we didn't see any 
anything. I just don't know why I hadn't like, got it in my head like to prepare myself that maybe I'd be disappointed. You know, I should have gone with the idea of like, if we see something great with that mentality, but I'd gone with the mentality of like, I can't wait to see our baby today, which was not the right mentality to go with. If you're going for a 4D scan, learn from this. You might be absolutely fine and you might see your baby, but you also might not. If you made it to the end of this video, then I love you millions. We're gonna head to the cinema now. Have a nice cozy evening. Hopefully I will see you all in my next video. And apologies that this wasn't that festive. I know at the start of the video, I was like, this is gonna be a festive vlog. It wasn't really that festive. I'll see you very soon and I love you all millions.